Hi guys, this is Sam from Happy Scrappy. Today I'm do going to make a very highly requested video from most of my subscribers because they received um, a fountain pen in our October kit and they didn't know how to use it. They were telling me like, Sam, I received the pen but it's, I couldn't write with it or there's no ink, how do I feel with the inks and all those stuff. So I thought I'm going to make a quick video to show you how to refill some of the fountain pens that we have in the shop. I normally keep all my fountain pens um, horizontally in this meager pouch. It's a little bit dirty now but I keep most of my fountain pens here horizontally and just to make sure that when you're not using your fountain pen remember do not keep the inks inside because it might the ink might just get stuck in the nibs and you might not be able to use the pen anymore but if it happens to your pen what you need to do is that you can just uh, rinse through your your nib with warm water and I think you should be all set so um, let me go through the fountain pens that we have in the shop one by one first of all we sell the ink sample in the shop in this type of packaging in a ziplock bag let me open it up <coughs> Then uh, it's label. <laughs> I actually type the label myself, or sometimes we print out the label with the brand and the color, the name of the color. And there's a pretty tissue paper to wrap the the bottle, so that if if there's any leakage, it will just uh, uh, absorb some leakage. So this is how it looks like. You have to twist it open with care, of course. And this is there's a stopper, so you have to um, open up the stopper slowly or else it might be spilling all over so when you want to want to fill up your fountain pen all you need to do is to open up the stopper and dip your fountain pen in let me show you how to fill up the fountain pen first and I will wrap it back so when you are going to fill up your fountain pens all you need is that um, you need kitchen towel or tissue paper, your fountain pen and some fountain pen inks. These are some of the fountain pen inks that I have in my collection, the J Herbin and this, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Atramentis. And they, this was recommended by uh, a fountain pen shop in Singapore. Uh, she recommended me this ink because it's uh, waterproof. But uh, if you have any waterproof ink, you cannot keep in the fountain pen overnight. That's what she said because um, it might just stuck your nib and might just ruin your pen. <coughs> so when you receive the fountain pen, this is of the same model as the fountain pens that come in our October box. It's from MNG. So you open up your pen. This is how it looks like. It's metal nib and it's a fine point. Then you twist it open and this is what you will see. The body and this part you can actually just put apart this is called a converter so for this type of converter is actually um, there's a level for you to push up and down as you can see here I push it down and push it up you can see clearly right so when you want to fill up the ink you have to push the level down of course you have to plug it back to your to the nib this is how it looks like remember to prepare kitchen towel or tissue paper because it's going to be a huge mess, some huge mess sometimes. So what you need to do is that you have to dip your nib until this level. You have to cover up at least where the the nib is going to soak through the ink. You have to cover up until here. So I dip into the bottle of inks or dip it into the the ink sample. So you push the level down, dip it into the bottle of ink and push it up. And you see, during my first try, I didn't pick up enough ink, so I push it down again. So you have to give it a few more try until you fill up the, the converter. As you can see, I actually fill up more inks here, and I'm happy with this um, amount of ink in my, in my fountain pen. Gently dab the excess ink on your nib, then you're good to go. Close it back, and let me get a pick. Initially, the ink doesn't flow very well, so you have to maybe give you a good shake so the ink will flow to the nib. That's what the girl told me, give you a good shake. Or the other thing that you can do is that prior, before um, refilling the ink, you just soak the, the pan nib into warm water. It should clear, uh, 
if it's clogged up then it should be cleared then it will be easier for you to fill up the ink and you will be able to write smoothly so this is how it looks like <coughs> Then the next pen that we have in the shop will be um, both of these are very similar one is from Jin Hao and the other one is a transparent fountain pen we have both in the store I just want to show you how it looks like this is a Jin Hao pen that we include in the previous pen box twist it open and this is how the converter looks like as you can see this converter is much bigger that means you will be able to hold more ink and the converter is you have to twist to push the level up and down by twisting so you twist it down then you soak it into your dip it into your um, fountain pen bottle fountain pen ink bottle and just twist it back up then you should be all set this is how it looks like so the converter basically have two mechanism is either you push the level up and down or either you twist the converter and for this Slay the Day fo transparent fountain pen that we have in the shop which we have also included in our pen box previously is of the same mechanism, you twist the converter as well and for this one you can actually use the cartridge so if a pen comes with cartridge what you can do is that you have to push it in really really hard and you hear the clicking sound then you should be all set you have to push it hard and hear the clicking sound alright I have to repeat this because so many of you email me and tell me Sam I couldn't get a cartridge to work so that's what you need to do and for this lay the day pen we actually provided two different type of nib the pen comes with a fine nib and if you purchase the pen you actually get an extra fine nib so you get two different type of nib and you can try out to see which nib size do you actually like it better oh, I need to do this again so this is how it looks like originally okay so you just twist open or if you want to it's better to use a tissue paper to hold the nib and pull it out and it's very simple seriously I think it's even more simple than changing diapers and just push the nib back just push it in and you should be all set as you can see here and then you put your converter or your cartridge and then you put the pen barrel back and you should be all set and start using your fountain pen I hope this quick video will be able to help you uh, by, <laughs> with refilling your fountain pen and I hope you enjoy using fountain pen have fun, bye bye